what is going on guys welcome to the channel in this video we're going to be going over how to create this split screen flash effect it's a really simple way to just add a quick transition or an effect to your videos without spending too much time on it so let's get right into it in after effects i'll be using these four clips in order to create the transition as well as the effect first thing we're going to do is create a new adjustment layer and for this adjustment layer i'll make it four frames long and we're going to add an exposure bring this adjustment layer above the first two clips make sure that there's two frames on the left side and then two frames on the right side keyframe the exposure at the start at five click that adjustment layer click u to reveal the keyframes and then go towards the end keyframe the exposure to zero easy ease both of those keyframes the next thing we're going to do is create that split screen flash effect so let's create a new solid layer for this solid layer make sure that it's a white color make the solid layer two frames long we're going to mask out the top part of the solid layer so let's turn on the proportional grid and then grab the rectangle tool it doesn't have to be perfectly in half. I'll have it a little less in half and then move forward one frame and we're just gonna cut this layer. Click Control Shift D. For the second solid layer, open up the opacity and I'll lower the opacity to 65%. Now we have that white split screen flash effect and then we're going to have a quick flash at the start of the third clip. Duplicate this adjustment layer, click Control D, and then move it above the third clip. Make sure it's right above the third clip, and then we're going to delete these keyframes and make sure that the exposure is still at five. Then we're going to cut this layer so that it's only one frame long. Mask out the top part of this exposure, turn on the proportional grid, and then grab the rectangle tool. I'm going to mask out a little more than half. I'll have it like that. And then now I'm going to grab these three layers, the exposure layer, and then the two white solids, duplicate them, bring those above the third clip, and I'll just add that to the middle of the third clip. We're also going to duplicate the adjustment layer with the exposure keyframes, bring it all the way to the top so that we can add it between the third and the fourth clip. Now when I play this, this is what we have for our final effect as well as transition. It's a really simple way to just add a little more energy to your footage, especially if you don't want to go too crazy with the effects and transitions. But that is all I have for now. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.